Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Logan S. We are picking back up in our Pokemon Scarlet journey. Uh, there hasn't been any changes, I don't think, to the team. I've just leveled them up a little bit to get them uh, closer to the level they needed to be here. And we are going to get into this and go to the Ghost Gym. Now the plan for today is at least to get through the Ghost Gym and to go uh, for the next Titan. But... The hello, Loganus. How does your treasure hunt? Figure out, figured out what you're hunting for yet? Sure have. Beat this game. That's great. Look at you, knowing exactly what you're after. Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's no, it's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here, to make sure you know your homeroom teacher got your back. Ah, the lucky egg. Well, that would have came in useful, considering I just spent like two hours training and running around the map. But, oh well. This should be very handy for you in your treasure hunt. I hope you'll keep working on that Pokedex of yours, too. Since I did make the app at all. That's all for me. Just do your best to keep out of danger, okay? I don't know what accents I slipped into and out of there. I guess he's just a generic European accent guy. Or a mixed European accent guy. Because I know I definitely did some German and British, but... Montenevre Gym. Thank you. This is the ghost. Rhyme. Pass the gym test. Alright. Warming up the audience. So, yeah, we gotta do some battles, I think, so. Alright, let's go. Come on. I noticed Namona's not following up us up this cold mountain. Head to the stage, and let's get started. Yep. MC Sledge. And this is the sp uh, stage right here. So, here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double battles. That's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. That'll let you surge up the double opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be so hot it'll melt the Montenegro snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass our gym test, yo. You're the op your opening act begins as soon as you get up on stage. There'll be no backing down until you win three times in a row. So make sure you're ready. You good on the deets for the opening act and the gym test and our gym test? Ready to sledge them up? All right, let's go. Sweet. Just play it by ear. You'll do great. Head up onto the stage. Oh, here we go. Warm up the audience for Rhyme's concert. I still haven't thought of a voice for Rhyme yet. We'll see. I like the voice I thought of for MC Sledge, and I made that up on the spot. What's up, Montenevra? Today's opening act will be a three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here. And the first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. Hello there, young child. The one, the only, Taz. Double battles means one plus one, right? Can you do math, that math? Yes, I can handle that math. I wasn't too bad at math growing up. When all I took AP Calculus in high school, and then I went all the way to Cal 2 in college. Alright. Um, I'm more concerned with Grievert, I think. So let's do that, and... Hmm. Lumina Crash was only effective. I thought Psychic was supposed to be effective against Ghost. Oh no, Ghost is strong against Psychic. It's, I was... I get messed up thinking about Gen 1 because uh, Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar were weak to Psychic, but it was because of their poison double type. 
Secondary type, I should say. So. It still messes me up to this day, you know, 20 years later. 25, 20? Somewhere between 20 and 25 years. Come on. My attack crows. Alright. Take the shut it down. It doesn't matter. Yep, kind of figured that was going to be a one hit. Alright. I don't think it heals our Pokemon in between, so... I thought I was basically right at the level, but apparently I'm just over it. I must have looked at the level for the uh, Titan Pokemon after this. I mean, I don't care about being over leveled. You know, I'm not doing this ultra competitive or anything. But, still... The Montenevra stage has all the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging, you got this. Oh, it does heal, okay. And our challenger's next opponent would be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lanny. Ah, oh, hello there, cowgirl. Strong compliments of the week. Harmony to the two Pokemon battling in unison. What you got for me? Haunter and Mistress. Okay. So I think we are going to split up our attacks. I'm going to do that there. And that there. Ooh, not a one-hitter. But that one is. Okay. So, at least got the Haunter out of the way. That was some good experience. Go, go. Getting the level. And the crowd's getting even more wild. I'm glad it only ups my Pokemon and not uh, theirs. Sorry, Miss Travis. You are going down. Um, it doesn't matter. And Big Bird to finish it off. Boom. So far, not bad. Not bad at all. Gym Leader Lonnie. Not Gym Leader, Gym Trainer. Okay. One more, and then we get to do the actual battle. Audience is getting really excited. Your opponent's axe turned up, turned the cheering and the stage lighting up to a leather. What a surprise for my new challenger. Who'd have thought they'd sledge it up this much? Next is your last opponent, and it's none other than me. MC Sludge! Alright, let's go, buddy. I forgot that this was uh, the last one. Being an MC isn't my only forte. I can battle, too. I'll sledge you up real good in a double battle. Alright, MC Sledge, let's see what you got. Gym Trainer MC Sledge. Ooh, Sableye and Griffin. I always like Sableye. I wish it was stronger. I know it got a Mega, but Sableye needs something, you know? Uh... Huh, it doesn't. Apparently I haven't faced a Drift one yet. Okay. Dazzling Gleam. Oh, what a fit hit. I should have been doing Dazzling Gleam this entire time. I didn't know that hit both. Good to know, good to know. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it didn't kill me good. And Big Bird lived. Sorry, Sableye, you're going down this turn. Yep. 
Come on. Raise my attack and special attack. Come on. Thank you. Alright, and here it doesn't really matter. Going down. Okay, well that was only regularly effective. I didn't know if it was going to KO it or not, but it doesn't matter. Wiggy gets another level. It was you who sledged me up. Here we go. Stage fully lit up. Let's get ready for our gym battle against the leader. Reached a fever pitch. Yep. Rare sight. Thank you! Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Yep. Let's go. I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto. We're ready to go to the main event. Come on, everybody. Say it with me. This is what you've all been waiting for. Give it up for the MC of RIP. Rhyme. Rhyme, 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 rhyme. Let's see. What kind of voice do I want to do? <coughs> Excuse me. Um. What's all this noise I'm hearing? This crowd's so loud it could wake the dead. Let me tell you what I want to hear. You feeling good? Yeah. Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now, I'll get this started for real. Right, I slipped a little bit in my MC Hammer voice there. Give Rhyme some time. Wait. Go ahead and tell the lobby staff. Oh, I gotta go back. Okay. I guess. Let Rhyme get a little concert in. Yes, I passed. Yep. MC of RIP. I don't know. Let's go. Nope. Had a little lagginess there. Yo, yo. Rap battle going on. Oh god, we're getting a rap battle. I forgot about this. This is my time and this is my day. You're not going to stand in my way. Listen up, Rhyme. You resign. Your reign ends here. You're going to get rung up by this pro cashier. Boom, -ch, boom, -ch, boom, -ch. boom. Pro cashier? No. What, what was my voice for? Pro cash it no. Pro oh, oh, oh. Let's see, Rom. Pro cash it. Pro cash it. Well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on a deep discount. Please, you think you can step to my game, fool? I got rhyme right there in my name. I'm a specter from which there is no protector, and a victory onto me will render when the crowd sees you're a mere pretender. You want to end my reign? Yeah. Keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. Yep. 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 Her rhymes are much better than yours. Hold up. Where are you going? That's all you got? After my next shift, seriously? Bars over jokes? Come on. That was over way too fast. 
It gets boring wearing the crowd if no one makes me fight to keep it. No, I'm giving her like a southern accent. She's not southern. She's city. She's she's a rapper. Like yo yo yo, how it do? Mm. Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? Gym battle. As if I even needed to ask. You were captivated by the show I put on, huh? A rap that's in my soul, baby. Weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me. You won't last one round. I'm like Sableye. My mean look will knock you down. Like that, you feel me? Sure, let's go. <laughs> well, let's get to it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. My music's not all that tops the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. I feel like all of that should have had some rhyming going to it. Lest you forget it, my name is Rhyme, and I'm known as the MC of R.I.P. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. There we go. I really like her character model. It's very unique. Ah, Mimikyu. I like Mimikyu. I've never used it, but I really like it. We don't mess around in Montenevra. On my stage, we double battle something. I didn't see it. Alright. Uh, let's get the Bayonet and Dazzling Blame both of them. Student kid? Yes, I am a student kid. Although, aren't we all students of something? Thank you for upping my speed. Foul play. Well, at least Bayonet's going now. Or Bayonet, whatever. Oh, it's Disguise Fell. There we go, Big Bird gets another level. Ah, oh, Houndstone. I probably need to get rid of that Houndstone as quick as possible. Thank you for raising my attack and special attack. You know, she really... Oh, unless it's... If she knocks out a Pokemon, then it does, but... That would make sense. Ooh, Shadow Snake. I didn't know you knew that. Ah, oh, and it was a crit. Alright, well. Houndstone's not going down, that's for sure. Ooh, Phantom Force. Okay. I would love to send out Flurpy, but... Ugh, that... I don't think... Let's go with Mr. Krabs. He at least has a super effective move. Oh, is Mimikyu also part type fairy? That would make sense. Yeah, it is part fairy. Okay. Sorry. I'm still not great on all Pokemon's typings. I thought Mimikyu was just a ghost type. Of course, Houndstone avoided the attack, but it's still hidden in the Phantom world. But Mimikyu's going down, so. Thank you. And there goes Big Bird. Alright, now that it's between turns, she I'm gonna send out Flurpy. Let's just go for it. Go for the gusto. Ooh, Toxtricity. I really like Toxtricity. I really am so mad at myself that I didn't use it in my Galar playthrough because I didn't know I could actually get it super early in the game. By the time I actually found it when I played through it, I was like, I'm not changing my team. It's too, too much. 
Ooh, but I can uh, Terra Flurpy to get rid of my ghost typing. That'll help, yeah. Okay, what do I want to do? Rock side, hopefully we'll hit both. Flurpy, we're going to terrestrialize you. And I know it's, I'm just going to use this. Oh, I should have read that. Oh, well. Sorry, sometimes I just get in my habit of spamming the A and B buttons. Look at all the houndstones. Oh, and then the little puppy up top. Yo, yo, yo. When I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over here. Over there, show feeling. Yep. To rationalize your electricity into a ghost type. Uh, it even uh, kind of did a little guitar thing there. And I am to rationalize and get rid of my weakness to ghosts. There we go. Purifier type now. And Houndstone avoided it. Of course. Hey, at least electricity can move. That worked. Torch song. Boom. And my special attack rose. So. Perfect timing to Terrasilize. Alright, so I think with just the Toxtricity up there. Ah, uh, do I want to do Rock Slide or do I want to do Iron? Metal Claw, sorry. Or X Scissor. I mean, my attack is already boosted. Um, I'm going to go for X-Scissor just for the accuracy, and also it's going to, you know, at least hurt it some. And just to get the Terra type advantage. Song. And boom. That wasn't too bad. Lost two Pokemon, but... Could have been much worse. Giving up the ghost, not really my style. I'll let you have this one though, baby. <laughs> Great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You got spirit, kid. You earned my gym badge, alright? And how about a VIP pass for my next show, too? Ah, thank you. And there we go. Pass the gym test. With six badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon of up to level 50, and they'll listen to what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good that, I'm, that I think I'm going to let you have this. Oh, thank you so much for Shadow Ball. Too bad it's over. Make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we rap battle instead. Who knows? I'm sure you got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you. Later. And with that, the ghost gym is down. Greetings once more, Loganus. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full box, gold star, extra credit even. Hardly had you set for the Wug Trio. Had, uh, hardly had you sent out Wug Trio before you launched into your strategy. 
That unrelenting offensive, that fury of attacks, what an efficient way to corner the opponent. And what artfully trained Pokemon, such a vibrant palette of moves. Ah, uh, I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. Ahem. <clears throat> In summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit I'm eager for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I await the day you come to face me with great anticipation. Oh, but one more thing. Don't let your studies fall by the wayside. I'm sure you come to the Academy now and then. Be sure you come to the Academy now and again. Yeah, totally. I am totally going to go and do all of that. So, I think next up, we're going to go do a Titan battle. Because I am really wanting to... Oh, God. Get this Karate on up to full strength. It is so annoying not having all of his abilities. Wait, wasn't there also something up here... No, I think it's just cool to get up here. Okay. Oh, right on almost fell. All right, so let's go. It is in the desert down here. Closest place is the port, so fly there. And I might as well heal when I get there. Just so everything is... Oh, and we also need to recharge our Terra Orb. almost forgot about that. Yes, yes, I'd like to heal. Thank you. And the Quaking Earth Titan, I'm guessing, is going to be ground. So... Leaving my Wug Wiggy, Wug Trio out. Yeah, it's ground. Would be the best strategy right now. So. I could help you, but... Off camera. No, not check details. Set as destination. There we go. Let's go. Avoid. And hello, Cyclozar. Haven't caught you yet. I should, though. But... Run. I got some stuff to do. Oh, I want that. Is that. And that. And that. Into the desert. Now, I have already triggered this. Hey, look. I'm getting ready to see your past form. But, anyway. Ah, there it is. I do like both Great Tusk and uh, Iron Treads. Like, I think they nailed both of them. Hold on, Great Tusk. Let me grab this. Come on, come on, grab it. Okay. Hello, Great Tusk. Dang, you are huge. Whoa, Quaking Earth. Don't fall. Hello, Loganus. This is Professor Sada. Great Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the Great Crater of Paldea. I ask you to do whatever is needed to subdue it for me. With all due caution, of course. All with due caution, of course. Alright, I'm working on it. Great Tusk for Quaking Earth Titan. Two. And triple die. Not too bad on damage. Not too bad. Wish it would have done a little bit more than that. Ooh, especially since Rapid's been just... Oh, and it's Speed Rose. Let's try it. Oh, it outspeeds me, of course. Alright. Uh, what's plan B? 
Um. Oh. Go, go. Plan B. Let's use C bomb. Dang, you hit hard. Oh, you're gonna be outspeed me in KO. Yep. Let's see, what's up next? I only gotta hit you one good time. Definitely not sending in Zap one. Uh, let's try Big Bird, see if our psychic attack is enough to take it down. Uh, yeah, that's my best move for right now, I think. Okay, thank God Raptor doesn't do that much against Big Bird. And with my opportunist, I get faster too. But you were still faster anyway, so. Oh, well, that rough looks dead. Never mind, it's alive. Alright, there it is. Can't hide very well. Alright. Restore some health. Where are my revives? And uh, use the other revive on Go Go. And Oh, instead of newest, let's sort by type. 60, that's enough for you. And uh, let's use that. Use a potion. And done. Yeah, I'm not going to fret over 8 HP. Come here, you big great tusk. Arvin better get his butt over here, too. And boom. Headbutt. Began eating something. I wonder what it could be eating. Ah, finally here. Let's see, Arvin's voice was a little deeper. Looks like you found yourself a Titan. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Uh, is, is that thing even a Pokemon? It must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show that thing what you and me can do. All right. Now that it's powered up with its Urban Mystica. Good Lord. All right, uh, triple dive. I'm gonna use the Scoville villain I caught in your body. Okay. Two. Wow, this does way less than I thought it would. I mean, I know it's powered up, but dang. And rapid spin. Oh, you didn't hit as hard. Okay, that's weird. Good job for missing the attack. And I'm not gonna... Well, actually... Oh, you didn't attack me. Thank you. So I can get some more hits in. I wish it were just like... Do it quicker than having to, you know, dive in and out each time. But I get it's triple dive. It just it would make sense if, like, you dive down and then whenever you popped up, you just went boom, boom, boom. But oh well. And there goes Skull Villain. I really like Skull Villain. Like, if it wasn't a grass fire type, you know. Which I get, that's the point. Like, I love that it's grass fire type, but... 
I just don't like having too much type overlap on my team, you know? I try to avoid it as much as possible. Arvin, you, you got no other Pokemon. None. Really? <sighs> well, at least I can hopefully finish it this turn. Yes. Boom. Super effective. Hit three times. Great Tusk fainted. Good night. And it fall over. Defeated the Great Tusk. Really wish I could have caught it, but oh well. Get some levels. Ah, oh, and the next Urba Mystica. Karidon's gonna get even better. Yes, nice going, little buddy. What even was that thing, though? I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. Yeah, we can think about it later. Let's uh, get this Urban Mystica before it comes back. Anyway, I bet if we head inside, we'll find more of that Urban Mystica it was eating. Let's give the place a once-over before that thing decides to come back. Yep, let's go. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come on. It's it's glowing right there. Hey! He didn't waste his time looking around that time. Nice. Oh, look at it. Yes, found it. Here's our little herb. Ah, sour. This shape... It, the sheen, it looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. Eh, uh, not always. Okay, Sour Urban Mystica is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works wonders when, uh, whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. No time to waste. Let's get some food going. I think this is where we finally get the flying. Oh, watch out. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, as a token of our friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it in awe as you eat. Thank you so much, Arvin. Here we go. Yep. Hello there, Karidon. Yes, we're gonna give Karidon the sandwich. He's been a good boy. Or girl. Come on out, my boss fit. Food's up. We're both powering up our little beloved Pokemon. Admittedly, mine's fine, it just is not at, you know, full strength. Yours was basically on its deathbed, so. But still. Oh, ho, ho. would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. And Karadon isn't even going to taste it. And boom. Yay, Glide. Seems like that fellow is also slowly regaining its original strength. Still, doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Oh, it got sad. It seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. Yep, I have a feeling it does. I've read about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychological trauma, you know? I think that's what you call it. Yep. We've all got some of that. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all? Well, don't worry. I'm sure both that brute and Mabast fit. Mabastif. 
will make a full recovery eventually. So, how do you feel, Mabastif? How's that Herba Mystica working? Roof. God, oh, no pressure. It's not like it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some kind of huge effect, right? And it's not like the effect has to be immediate either. But Roof. He's definitely more vocal. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry. Logan S. and I are going to make sure you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of all. It's, it's just got to be. All right. Next step on our little herb hunt should be the last. But we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep our momentum. Here we go. Yep. One more to go, and I think it's the dragon one. Which is out on that giant lake. But that is the Urban Mystica and the Rotom phone for Professor Sada. Hello, Loganus. This is Sada. I detect that Coridon has regained more of its original power. After it has jumped into the air, you should try pressing the B button again. It should glide now. Thank you. You must continue helping Coridon recover. And jump and glide. Oh, thank you. Anyway, that I think has been about enough for one video. So I'm going to get out of here as soon as I grab a couple of little items. But if you're enjoying this, uh, thank you so much for watching. But, uh,. Consider giving me a subscription, if you, especially if you've watched this far. I would really appreciate it. But thank you for watching. I am going to get out of here and be looking for my next video where we will continue our journey in Pokemon Scarlet. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye.